<laughs> Woof. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and uh, I am 60 clues through what has to be the most incredible Jeopardy game that's ever been recorded, at least among three players. Not individual performance, although we had that in spades. Chris, going big on all three daily doubles. Uh, I was yelling at the screen when uh, that daily double came up in the four-letter science category, or whatever that was. You got to go big on that. Paid off for him, but I wasn't expecting ten grand on the AE category. Although that's another perfect category to go big on because there's only a certain population of things and putting Pangea as a $2,000 clue later. Well, that's actually going to be a, a big thing for Katie because that brings her back into contention because now she has uh, between the difference of uh, Chris and Tim. They're separated by 10200 Previously, they were at 12200 and that would have kept Katie locked out. So now this is officially, as far as I know, and I can't imagine there's a better one, the highest scoring three player game, no, well, highest scoring game, which all three players are technically alive in Final Jeopardy, ever. And Chris and Tim together have 57 8, which is almost the record already. I think it's 58 6, 58 8, 59 2, something like that. Katie bumps it up to uh, 69,600. Just, whew. man, and let's not forget, serious kudos are in order for Tim. 23,800 without the single, without a single daily double in the entire game. That is some skill. That's some scrappiness, especially in the face of some huge wagers. The only thing I'm disappointed about is this Final Jeopardy category because AFI categories are always terrible clues. It's a subjective poll from some people who got together in a room in 1997 or whenever it was and decided what their favorite movies of all time were and then decided to publish the list and for some reason Jeopardy gets hold of that every so often and says, oh, well, this would be fun. Great. Oh, wow. Whew. Tim doubles up. All right, let's just do the 10,200 difference. Another 10,200 is going to be 13.6 out of Chris. Uh, if he's wrong with that, that's going to be another. So um, Tim could wager at most 3400 Katie, uh, obviously Chris is going to have more than 20000 here. Katie's going to have to double up. She's fairly in contention. Go for broke. And I think this is where things are going to get interesting because if she does double up, she got 23 six. Tim right now is 23.8, so Tim could wager 199. And this is really the only place where the mind games come into play. If Tim goes for this 199 wager of 23.999, so Chris could win with a 10,000 wager, even if he gets it wrong. And, uh,. I might seriously consider that if I'm him. Tim seeing that might say, yeah, well, Chris is savvy and he's addicted to 10,000 wagers. So I don't want to take the risk that he's going to do that and I'm just going to go for everything myself and hope it works out and that I get it right and Chris misses or I get it right and Chris wagers not to cover me and then I go home with, what would that be? 47,600. No matter what happens tonight, someone's going to make at least $20,000. That's pretty awesome that you can say that with certainty. And it could be as high, I guess, Chris could go for 68. He's not going to do that. He's too smart for that. Uh, yeah. Oof. Man, just a really good game. But Katie played a really good game, too. Did, uh, did she remind anyone else of Terry O'Shea a little bit? In kind of the same uh, vocal intonations, kind of the same reactions to... I get clues right. I don't know if Terry's into the whole scary stuff, but all right, let's see how this goes. I'm I'm guessing Chris is gonna play to win. Or is he more into the uh, coincidental, the uh, 
don't know, the fates, whatever. The answer, what is a lead? Definitely legitimate play. The AFI, 100 years, 100 movies, and this clue to help you. This man, who was in The Godfather and Apocalypse Now, is the only living actor in six or more films on the list. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. I think Robert Redford was in Apocalypse. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was. I could be completely wrong. I think he was in The Godfather. Well, it's not wrong with Rando. Movies aren't my thing. Maybe that's why I don't like the AFI categories. But... Alright, who's taking this home? Oh, Tim looks like he's got it. He's all here. Back and network. We start with you, KD Oliver. You have 11,000. Doesn't help me at all. You're not looking too happy all of a sudden. He's dead. You selected Marlon Brando. Remember, we said only living actors. So, it will cost you everything you had. Good wager. To zero. All right, here's the moment of truth. He had 23,800. Very well played. He picked the correct response. Oh. The correct actor. Robert Duval. And the wager. Hello. Wow. 2,799 giving him the lead. Wow. 46,599 and making Chris Becker our champion unhappy, I believe. Did you get Robert Duval? Uh, no. 10,000? And your wager? Oh, he went for the lockout, man. Finishing second place today, but that's all right. He won fifty-two thousand. You know, maybe I was thinking Robert Duvall when I thought Robert Redford, or maybe I just had no clue and took a wild guess. Oh, damn, son, Tim must know his movies. Because you don't make a wager like that, unless... Now I'm curious, why did he go for that amount? So if he gets it wrong, he's going to have 1,001. Katie, uh, 10-4. No, I should have just looked and saw the guy. 10,399. So Katie would have to wager at least, you know... No, that doesn't make sense. Huh. I guess I don't get it, but... Yeah, I don't... It doesn't matter. Dude, you left some money on the table. <laughs> nah, mad respect for Tim, and if he can keep this up... I don't know. Could break 100000 pretty quickly. Or it could be a flash in the pan. We'll have to find out tomorrow. Uh, Chris, man, stellar run. Great, great game tonight. He did everything he had to do. Just sometimes doesn't work out in final. Yeah, oof. I'm going to go. Uh, I have to have a drink now. That was a great 22 minutes television. Well, let's see if we can do it again tomorrow. I hope you'll join me then right here on the final wager.